Hey everyone, thanks for joining me here today. In front of me here is a very cool new casting uh, that has come out here in 2022, and it is the RLC exclusive 1952 Dodge Power Wagon. Uh, everything I've read about this casting is fantastic, and I'm super excited about it. Um, it is one of only 25,000, and I have not yet seen this um, in my hands yet. Um, I'm just staring at a white box, and uh, so I can't wait to get it out and, and check out the details. Um, you know, and with like an exclusive swivel frame so it can uh, kind of twist, and uh, which I know I've read some, you know, some people have said that it's not real, but apparently it is. Um, there were uh, quite a few of these trucks built like that with this modification. Anyway, excited to uh, share this with you, so let's break it open and check it out. So if you read any of the uh, the information on um, HotWheelCollectors.com when this uh, truck was released, you know you can see that the big you know feature of this truck was this swivel frame they call it, um, where the the truck can articulate and go over rough terrain, and you know there. <laughs> Both in the Hot Wheels world and in the um, in the real world, some said that you know this was some sort of aftermarket modification that um, somebody would do to a custom truck, you know, in, in current modern times. But actually, this was something that was done back as early as the 1940s, and it wasn't something that Dodge offered. Um, it was a company called Willick. You know, Willick was was I, I believe based in Washington State, and um, and they were taking these these early Dodge trucks and um, and and mainly the heavy duty trucks, um, one ton and bigger, and they were putting these these this this kind of patented uh, swivel joint, you know, that you can see here on the bottom, where they basically cut the frame in half and then put this big joint in there so that the truck can articulate. And the reason why they did that was. In those days, these trucks didn't have locking differentials like modern trucks do. And so, you know, it'd go over uneven terrain and you'd have, you know, wheels sticking up in the air and it would just spin those wheels because you had an open differential. So this kind of helped keep all four wheels on the ground um, at all times. Apparently around 40 power wagons uh, were actually equipped with this feature um, and then Rumors, you know, float around that other trucks, maybe some Fords, also were fitted with this feature. Um, but um, about twelve, they estimate, um, exist today. In fact, one of them was in the the Peterson um, uh, Museum, and um, in fact, that was actually a working truck. The owner of that truck uh, actually still uses it um, to this day in uh, in Washington State, um, out in the wild. Now, apparently Willick also equipped, um, I don't know how many, but, but at least several two-wheel drive heavy-duty trucks that were sent to the Philippines as they were uh, going through sugarcane fields and working those fields because in, you know, the, the, the humidity and the, you know, the, the salt in the air and that kind of stuff in, in that country... Um, all of the flexing of the frame would eventually crack and break and they'd have to, you know, prematurely, you know, scrap the trucks. And so they, they started um, you know, retrofitting the trucks with this so that it would uh, save the frame um, from all of that twisting. And apparently it was a $350 upgrade to your truck. Now, the Dodge Power Wagons are, you know, in themselves are, you know, it's a pretty cool story with those because they were military trucks, you know, and, and a lot of them didn't even have a cab on them and that kind of stuff. And, and um, in fact, 
apparently it took you know some convincing from some servicemen to actually get Dodge to produce the uh, the trucks after World War II. And um, so it's, you know, they, they proved themselves very, very capable in the war as far as their, their four-wheel drive ability. And it was uh, one of the first four-wheel drive vehicles ever offered to the public. Uh, so anyway, that's some history on this very cool uh, truck with this very cool Willick uh, swivel frame feature. It's one of those weird automotive stories that just kind of gets lost with time. And it's cool to see Mattel kind of seeking out these, these interesting um, automotive uh, designs, you know, um, kind of like the, the, the 1962 F100 you see back here with that, you know, integrated body uh, truck bed on it. Um, and it's just, you know, just interesting, you know, very rare vehicles that, you know, aren't rare in a sense of, value per se, uh, but just uh, interesting pieces of automotive history. So really, really cool and uh, lots of history. You know, get online and check it out. There's actually a lot out there about these Willock swivel frame trucks. As you can see, you know, Mattel uh, designed this casting to be kind of more modern and customized with the, you know, the, the, the beautiful paint and the wood bed and you know, aftermarket wheels and tires and kind of stuff. So it represents a customized or restored version. Um, would have been kind of cool to see something with patina um, like an old truck would have. But uh, nonetheless, beautiful truck and uh, some very cool features. Uh, so let's get into the details of it. Um, as I've said, the main feature is this cool swivel frame, um, which, you know, gives it quite... Uh, quite the look um, to go over rough terrain. Um, finished in Spectra Flame Red, beautiful, um, beautiful color. You have um, very detailed emblems on the side of the hood and with Power Wagon, you have uh, detailed door handles um, on the front. You have detailed headlights, the Dodge um, across there. Um, and then on the back, you have the Dodge um, emblem across the tailgate. Um, it has black fenders and running boards um, on there as well. And in the front, you also have um, a black uh, bumper and a very cool looking winch that's actually detailed and painted the red hook on it. That's a very nice touch, very nice detail there. Um, you have a tan interior and that's also a tan bed representing a wood bed. It has lightly tinted windows. Um, the base is fantastic. Finally, thank you, Mattel. Some detail on a base on an RLC car. We're getting closer, guys, to the 100% um, Hot Wheels line detail. Silver and orange, you know, the gas tank here in the back, um, the drive lines, the transfer case, the transmission, and then you've got, you know, orange differential covers as well as. Um, uh, an orange oil pan there for the engine. Very, very cool. Otherwise, it is a gloss black painted metal china base. Uh, lastly, your wheels are chrome rim black off-road Real Rider six-spoke mag. What a great looking truck. Um, just such a cool design. And um, excited to uh, get it up on display with the rest of my RLC uh, loose collection. Well, that covers all of the details of the 2022 Hot Wheels RLC exclusive 1952 Dodge Power Wagon. Great casting, can't wait to see some, um, some new versions of it coming out in the future. If you get a chance, uh, please check out my other videos on some great RLC castings. Um, and um, as always, um, please hit that subscribe button for, for more content to come. And uh, as you can see, I'm still building this channel up, but um, definitely appreciate all of your support. Thanks for watching, everyone. Cheers.